May 12, 2017, the world is about to experience one of the biggest cyber attacks in its history. 150 countries affected, hundreds of thousands of computers infected, and a global financial impact in the billions. An attack with disastrous consequences on many sensitive industries, which this time will not spare the healthcare sector. What caused this? A ransomware that lives up to its name, WannaCry. Friday, 11 a.m., an ordinary morning for the staff of 236 hospitals run by the National Health Service, Britain's public health care system. There is not one thought of a cyber attack which is about to radically disrupt their daily routine. WannaCry ransomware takes advantage of an operating system flaw known to have previously been used by the NSA for espionage. Due to this flaw, WannaCry infiltrates over a third of British hospitals and hundreds of general practitioners infecting computers and medical equipment. 1 p.m., the first alerts sound and panic sets in the British healthcare services. The flow management equipment is inoperable, resulting in emergencies and admissions blockage, ambulance service disruptions and inaccessible patient records. Scanners, MRIs, hospital products, refrigeration centers no longer respond. 70,000 devices display the same message. Our ransom must be paid in Bitcoin to regain full access to machine data. An emergency plan is implemented immediately. Priority is given to maintaining critical healthcare services. Several sites take initiatives and shut down their IT services, limiting the spread which paralyzes their operations until a solution is finally found that evening. In the end, the NHS claim they didn't pay ransom, but over 250 million euros is needed to manage the crisis, restore IT services, and strengthen infrastructure cybersecurity. A terrible conclusion, possibly even costing human lives. In recent years, ransomware has become the most frequent type of cyber attack and has a devastating impact on the organizations affected by revealing their vulnerability in the digital age. Hackers take advantage of economic or health crisis situations and could put pressure on political and judicial systems simply by threatening to disseminate sensitive data. Organizations and corporations must identify their potential exposure and address it through preventative, detective, and reactive measures to protect themselves and enhance their resilience in the event of an attack.